Hello everybody, today is going to be a good day because today is Anime STL. Sorry for the noise, I have the 240 warming up right now. If you didn't watch the Anime STL video from last year, pretty much all it is, it's an anime convention in St. Louis, the only convention that we have, and this year should be special. This year I actually talked to the chairman of the convention about getting the car parked by an entrance so then you can actually see the car because there's no other Itasha cars in St. Louis. I'm, I think I'm the only one. So to be able to display the car, show more people, maybe get more people interested, is kind of the plan. So the car's loaded up and ready to go. I have a few errands I gotta run before I start heading there but I'll show you what the car looks like right now because I just painted the hood. The car is still sleepy eyed from the wreck. But now the hood is white instead of blue. Never got to fixing the uh, fender that Scotch pushed in. But the car's looking okay. I just gotta go to a car wash and uh, spray her down real fast and uh, I think I'm ready. All right, I'm loaded, let's go. So I think I got here a little too early. <laughs> So it says doors don't open until noon. So this gives me a little bit of time to uh, try to find out where the fuck I'm sleeping tonight. So I'm gonna lock my car up and I'll uh, get back to you guys whenever I figure out what the fuck's going on. Okay, so I just talked to the chairman of the convention on the phone and uh, he should be coming out soon so we can start getting the uh, placement of the car ready. So hopefully this turns out to be pretty rad. And I, uh, I did get a room for tonight. So hopefully me and my friend Dakota and my friend Brandon are all gonna have a room for at least tonight. And uh, tomorrow night, I'm not too sure how that's gonna go, because that's normally where the drinking really comes in. So I'll update you guys whenever I figure this out. So the guy that helps uh, run this, helped me get set up. I'm on the sidewalk, right at the front doors, so everyone's gonna be able to see this thing. <laughs> this is gonna be great. So this video is pretty much gonna be the same as last year, but I brought my DSLR this time, so I should be able to get a lot better shots, and it's gonna be a lot less craziness, hopefully. So, the car's parked, it looks rad, it's at the front doors, it's gonna be super cool seeing everybody, like, getting to see a car like that for the first time, because, from what I know, I said this before, I think that I'm the only Atasha car in the whole St. Louis area that I know of. If there's more, let me know, we need to hang out. But the car's parked, I just got into my hotel room, and I'll show you guys this beautiful fucking hotel, because I come here quite often to this hotel because of this convention, a few other conventions, and then also my work has parties here, and we always get a room, and the convention center is beautiful, it's attached to a hotel, which is beautiful, so I'm gonna show you guys around. So let's start with the view. It's kind of a cloudy day, which sucks, but uh, you kind of get a good idea of what St. Charles looks like. Last year we had an amazing view, this year's uh, so-so. It's two bed, which I think three of us are sleeping in here tonight, so we're going to have to get that figured out. A mirror. <laughs> um, I think last video I opened up this door and it led to the next room, so I'm not going to touch this door this time. <laughs> the bathroom, the kitchen area. And I need to turn all these lights on, but I don't know where the fuck the switches are. Living room area. The couch wasn't this big last time, so I'll, I think like a whole other person can be sleeping in here if we find someone. But here's the interesting part. So down here's the lobby where they serve breakfast. And normally, at night, they have a, like, maid cafe. And they also set up a stage where the, the maids will dance and sing for us. And then all the rooms. And then it gets pretty crazy here at night and the convention closes up and so everyone goes to the rooms and there's pretty crazy parties that end up happening here. And uh, I remember last year, we were somewhere over there and I just leaned over the, uh, the railing and yelled, where's the party at? And we found like six different parties where everybody's just getting drunk, having a good time. So the doors will be opening soon and I still need to go and register and get my pass for the weekend. So I'm going to drop the camera, I'm going to go walk around and uh, get my pass and I'll see what happens after that.
I threw my croc in this fountain last year. Excuse me, sir, what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> so the vendor room opened and I took my first stroll through there and I didn't want to buy much today. Tomorrow I'll probably buy more. But there are some things that I found and uh, it's hard to explain. <laughs> the main thing I am found that I'm super stoked about is this massive fucking REM poster. There's more to it, I just can't fully roll it out across this bed. So this will be in the garage somewhere. And then there... It's going to be so hard to explain. So there was a uh, vendor that was selling grab bags that uh, had specific genre, <laughs> I guess you could say, of uh, items in it. And um, so I bought one. And it could be DVDs, it could be books, you never know. Well, uh, I had the guy choose a specific one for me so I didn't have to pick one out. And it came with two DVDs. One seems interesting. And the other one, um, it might not seem like much unless you know anything about this. <laughs> so if you know anything about that, you'll understand why I'm freaking the fuck out right now. This is not okay. That's not what I asked for and I don't want that. <laughs> but other than purchasing that very obscure DVD, my friends are going to be here for a while. I pretty much did everything I want to. I still need to stop by the uh, game room. And other than that, I'm just going to wait for my friends to get here. The uh, the game room's actually really fucking rad because there's somebody that gets a whole bunch of uh, arcade games from Japan and brings them over and has them all free to play. And then they also have a lot of American games and then a lot of just like console booths with like PlayStations, GameCubes and stuff. And you can go in there and play for as long as you want. And last year, uh, he ended up actually bringing... Initial D, I think it was the second stage? I can't remember. But nobody really knows much about what it is, so nobody really played it, so I fucking played that for hours. <laughs> so hopefully he brought that again uh, this year, and I can sit there and spend all my fucking time on that. But I'm gonna relax for a little bit and then go walk around some more. So I've already decorated the room. <laughs> and we also just had a um, fire uh, problem, I guess. Uh, all the alarms started going off and telling us to evacuate and I was thinking that like the fucking place was burning down and there's a fire department outside but they ended up saying that apparently somebody just pulled a uh, fire alarm and we didn't need to evacuate after I lapped the building like 10,000 times. So everything's good so far. Still waiting. Still chilling. Getting hungry again. What the fuck? So I ended up talking to this guy a little while ago and uh... He looked lost, so I stopped him, and he wanted to park his car somewhere where people could see it, and, uh... Oh, hi, yeah. So, as I was saying that, he walks up. <laughs> so, this is the guy. <laughs> I'm gonna take my signs off real quick. Never actually had to get in one before? You never? No, never. <laughs> oh, God. Jeez. Yeah, that's the sound is, like, my favorite part. <laughs> This accelerated quickly. <laughs> it just feels powerful though, you know? Yeah. yeah, so then it ended up escalating quickly. <laughs> hey. So the elevator's being slow as fuck. I'm getting real tired of these fucking stairs. I'm glad I'm only on the fifth level, but god fuck. So that whole Lambo thing was interesting. <laughs> so I saw him pull in and he kind of pulled into a spot that was kind of away from everything. And he looked super lost so I stopped him and asked if he needed help. He just wanted to park his car somewhere cool so people could see it since it's something that you don't see every day. And uh, 
I tried to help him out a little bit, and uh, and then I kind of explained how they let me park up on the sidewalk, and he's like, oh, that's your car, I saw that, and I thought that was cool. So he was trying to find somewhere cool to park, and then I ended up walking off. A few hours later, I go back there again to film it and show you guys, and right as I start filming it, he walks up to me in full cosplay. <laughs> he was like, you know what, screw it, I'm just gonna go park up front. If they say anything, whatever. He's like, hey, yeah, you wanna ride up there? And I was like, oh, yeah, sure. So he took me around, I got to get in a Lambo. I've never been in one before, so that's, you know, always interesting. So hopefully I see him around more. That was pretty cool to see. But I'm still waiting on fucking Dakota and Brandon, so it's more waiting for me. Wait a lot, because now it's really fucking hard. Well, now you just... Ow, oh, fuck. <laughs> Hit my eye on it. Right. Hey, fuck you. Yeah, I texted Josh. So. You better yeah. text Josh. Tell Josh I said hi. Fuck Josh. So everyone's here. <laughs> so we're probably gonna go on a beer run real quick. Um, the next panel doesn't start till 10, and it's not 10. So we might do a beer run, and then <laughs> there's a 18 plus panel talking about drinking, and it's 21 and older. So we might actually get drinks out of that. Oh wait, what? Yeah. Huh. They just want a church girl that goes to church. And reads her Bible. <laughs> Beer run. Well, my grandma also this day thinks we dropped the weight. <laughs> so I know this video has been very spotty and not much has really happened, but first day is normally craziness and Tomorrow there's going to be a lot more people, a lot more things to do, and I can film a lot more. So we're just going to go to a couple panels to finish off the night. And that's about it. There's really not much else to do or to film. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Butt pussy. <laughs> this came to uh, the end of our stay at the hotel room. So we have to fucking give them our keys back. Oh God. <laughs> so we're gonna go put our shit in our cars and then uh, start walking around. What an interesting weekend. So I didn't film anything else after that last shot yesterday. And it is now Sunday, I'm home, I'm tired, and I'm just gonna do nothing all day. I'm sorry this came out short and there really wasn't a lot to film, but that's kinda how it is with this convention since it's so small. Normally, a lot of times when you find conventions like this, normally they're at a, on a quite a large scale, but this one's very small and local, so there's really not a lot that I could do and film and still be interesting. I don't know what the next event will be or the next video that I'll be making after this because this was kind of my stopping point for a little while so I can get my car ready again. But I hope something interesting happens soon so I can film it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Until the next video, I'll see you then. Don't